Hi guys, so this video is going to be something a little different. That right there is a cat that I just rescued from outside. Um, as you can see, she is stressed out. She doesn't really know what happened. She's hiding in the corner. You can hear the meow. This just shows, you know, hey, I don't know what's going on. Kind of stay back. Um, now what happened was... When I rescued her, she came, I saw her in the bushes as I was pulling up to get into my um, driveway. I pulled over and I kind of just sat on the ground and, show, and tried to see if she would come to me. She did. She came right out of the bushes, started purring, wanting to be pet, rolling around. Very, very friendly. So then I, you know, got her into a cage and I took her into, from that cage, and then I transferred her into my old German Shepherd's cage. Um, when you go to rescue a cat that you find outdoors, you want to make sure that you do your safety first. Um, if the cat is skittish and will not come running up to you, there is another, there's a different kind of trap that you can use and set outside and try and lure the cat in. But just be aware that with cats that are skittish and not human friendly, or not used to humans, it's going to be very, very hard to actually get them to be an indoor cat. And depending on how long they've been outdoors, it may not even ever happen, um, which is sad. So in that case, if you cannot get a cat to be trained indoors, um, it causes them to be anxious, they don't use a litter box, you know, a bunch of different factors. Um, then the best thing to do is spay or neuter them so they cannot reproduce and actually put the cat back where you found it, where it's already created a colony and it knows you can't move a cat from a different colony because it can make it get hurt by other attack fights for territory issues, etc. Um, so, but when a cat is friendly and will come up to you, you're going to want to try and contain them, and you're going to want to put them in a designated area. Now, most people do not have a room or anything that is, um, you know, just for that cat alone. And the reason you want a separate room where, you know, you, you can't be in full contact with it, um, or... If you have other animals, like I do myself, you don't want to expose your other animals because you don't know what kind of diseases or, you know, other stuff that they could be carrying. Um, for cats, they could be carrying, they could be pan loop positive. Um, they could be, you know, have fleas or positive for different types of worms that can be passed to your other animals. And some things can be passed to you as well. So you want to keep them secluded from anything else. Um, so I have her, I believe it's a her. I didn't get to really check too much into it, but I believe it's a her. Um, in my breezeways. And what I did was you want to set them up some water something to eat she is skinny believe it or not and then you want to give them a litter pan of their own so you know they can go if they need be and I also put some fleece in there I put an old fleece blanket that I won't ever use again and then I actually covered the top of the cage with a fleece blanket to help try and keep some warmth in here now, my breezeway is not 100% insulated, so it is a little cool. It's cooler than my house would be. However, you got to remember that outdoor cats are living outside, so they can adapt to the outdoor weather as long as it's not like freezing cold temperatures. And it's not where I live at this moment. Um, some other details, you know, you want to try and assess when you can. You want to see if they have a collar. You want to see if you can feel a microchip on the back of their neck, on the nape of their neck. You want to see if their ears, one of their ears, the tip is cut off because that indicates that they've already been spayed or neutered. Um, so there's different things that you want to look for. You also want to look to see 
one, are they meowing? Is their meow sounds normal? Is it, you know, good volume? Um, no raspiness, no coughing afterwards. You want to make sure that they don't have any um, kind of eye discharge or nasal discharge. Um, as far as like green gook or they can't open one eye because that can show signs of an infection. You want to make sure there's no cuts anywhere on the body or they're not bleeding anywhere. Um, if the animal, the cat, is okay with you, you can try and look at their um, their anus or butthole just to see if, you know, are there any, is there anything coming out of it? Like sometimes you can see worms or it'll be red and inflamed, etc. Um, so that's a couple things right off the bat you can find out about a cat. Um, now, you always want to look and make sure that um, you know, is this a lost cat? Look on your local ads, you know, post a picture and see if anybody claims it. Though I'm not a big fan, and I will say this, I'm not a big fan of posting a picture of a lost animal. Um, because anybody could claim that animal and you'd be likely to believe them. Unless, you know, there's papers and you know, find, help find me posts and stuff like that before that. So with her, I will go ahead and um, put a post in my local area saying that I found a female, long hair, um, about one year of age in my area. You know, if you can describe the colors to me, then I'd be more apt to talk to you. Um, but I'm very cautious on, you know, cats and animals online. Uh, there's a lot of people that will go and they will, they're called flippers. They'll use them and then just sell them to make money, especially when they're offered for free. Um, they could use her as bait in dog fights or other kind of circumstances. Um, they could just overbreed her if she's not fixed. So you've got to be really, really careful and really know who you're about to give this animal up to and do your research. People don't realize how often it happens and never, and I'm going to repeat, never, ever, ever sell an animal or post an animal for free online because that's what those type of people look for because they want to make money off of them. So always ask a rehoming fee and always do your background checks, please. Um... So right now I'm just letting her get used to my voice. Um, she is going to stay here. I don't know how long. I'm trying to work. I actually um, foster for a local rescue. Um, I haven't in a little bit just due to personal issues. But um, I have fostered before. So I'm trying to see if we have any room in intake. Um, you know, who I need to take her to as far as vet-wise goes to get her checked out. Um and then if she's not spayed, I want to get her spayed. Now, the question is, we're going to try, hopefully try and adopt her out. I think she will work. Right now, she is just stressed, and I basically just kidnapped her um, and fooled her into coming up to me <laughs> and loving me. And then I put her in this area where there's all different kinds of scents, and she's kind of confined. Um, so... So just be aware um, that, you know, after you take the cat in and you get her or him inside a confined area, they're going to be upset at you. They're going to be mad at you. Give them time to adjust. Get them time to be used to their surroundings. Um, you know, just don't try and touch them anymore. Just put what you need to in the um, cage. And then you can just sit here and kind of talk to them. Um, let them get used to your voice, let them figure out that, hey, I'm not going to hurt you, you know. So that's what I'm doing with her, and that's why I'm recording. Um, just to help, you know, someone else, um, who may be in this predicament. I know, sweetie. So I've given her the name of Lucky. Yes, Lucky. Because she is extremely lucky. Um, I'm hoping to get her checked into a vet, get her spayed if she's not, and then find her a loving, loving home. Um, I can't keep her. I've got too many cats as it is. 
Um, but I'm sure we can find her a very loving home after they fill out the application and everything. Um, so, yeah. I just wanted to give you a heads up. Just remember, do not attack... Or, I mean, I'm sorry. Do not try and touch or grab any animal that is either... For in cats... Um, in a cat scenario, for example, like today, if she was hissing, if she has her tail straight out, um, her fur sticking up, you know, her eyes are glaring, um, she's trying to swat, her teeth are showing, then I would know, and she's doing a long, low meow, and yes, I would definitely not even try to approach her. But like I said, she was super friendly. She was purring when she came up to me, let me pet her, rolled on her tummy. And that allowed me the chance to actually grab her with my bare hands and put her in the cage to transport her into this one. Um, my area, cats, you should not have your cat outside. I don't care who you are, cats should not be outdoors. They cannot... They have a hard time surviving the winter. They get eaten by coyotes. They reproduce like crazy. And then you have all these little kittens that get sick or get dumped on the highway and or get used as bait or they go in other people's yards and do their things and those people get mad and you know there's just there's so much that goes into it. Keep your cats indoors. Please keep your cats indoors. It's the best option for them. Um, so yeah, that was just a little different thing I'm posting here. I just had the opportunity to do it. So she's resting, um, in her litter box. That's probably where she feels the most safe. She hasn't eaten anything, hasn't drinking anything, which I'm not surprised because she may not even do that till later tomorrow. Um, she's just trying to take in the whole situation and figure out what the heck is going on. So that's all I'm going to do for her. I'm going to let her rest the rest of the night. Hopefully she gets warm um, and she looks like she'll be able to sleep. I don't want to get too close to the cage because I don't want to stress her out. But she is a very, very beautiful girl. Yes, Lucky, we're talking about you, sweetheart. And that's just her way of saying, you know, just stay back. I don't, I'm not in the mood. Let me just, let me just go to bed. So, all right, thanks for tuning in. You know, if you have any questions about cats or rescues or anything like that, go ahead and comment below. Cats are by far my favorite pets. Rats come next. I just love cats. Um, and that's one of the reasons I like to rescue and save their lives as much as possible. So, all right, comment, share, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Have a great night or day, depending where you are when you're watching this. Adios.